Hi there and welcome to this Tarot Advent series and here we are today on the 7th of December and the card that I've pulled for us today is the Emperor. So the Emperor's got lots of different meanings so there might be something in this for you today so see what resonates. So the Emperor is he's like the father figure in the Tarot. Um, he is the opposite energy of the empress which is more the the divine feminine the mother he is the divine masculine the father also could be the wounded masculine um but as that masculine principle this kind of covers topics in that might you might be experiencing in life around uh control stability authority security um being a protector maybe like the protector of your family the protector uh, or the role that you might play in your in your business or it might be the protector that you need to be for your own life so you can see him sitting here in his is uh on his stone throne and he's got these kind of very stark mountains in the background but that represents a, a feeling of stability and strength and also he's all right with being uncomfortable he doesn't need the soft comforts of life when you see the empress card she's sitting on this uh throne that's covered in cushions and she's looking very comfortable uh but he he's kind of steeled himself he doesn't need that he's he knows that if he wants to get things done if he because he's a doer he likes to get um he likes solving problems and finding solutions and that he knows that if he wants to get something done then he needs some kind of structure and organization and commitment and discipline and he has to you know he has to be prepared to get uncomfortable to do that at times not all the time but he has that grit and determination to really make something happen if he has these desires and also if he wants to um protect something that he cares about he'll go like the whole nine yards to make sure that that happens so he's a really wise leader and if this is um like but when you see old men with white beards in tarot it represents wisdom from life experience so this could be saying to you today about you know, is it time for you to become a leader in what you have experience in? Is it time to step up? Are you finding any kind of resistance to that of being in the in the spotlight or shining your light? If so, then maybe his message is to um, try see or take small steps, break things down into a systematic approach to learn what you need to do to get more confident to um, learn the systems that will help you and that will support you to maybe get you out there more or uh, take the action that you need to take in your life in some area. It could be to do with relationships. It doesn't have to be to do with work and projects. It could be any area of your life, your health. It's, it's, but it's about bringing a systematic, organized approach uh, and having that kind of passion to make sure something happens being the leader of your own life um he's also not afraid of conflict he's quite a respected leader and he he takes a stand for what he believes in maybe he has the wisdom to learn that he's not always right but at least he has that uh, commitment and courage to really stand up for what he believes in so maybe there's something that you need to take a stand against the the system or the culture or the family or anything that is like an organization where that has rules and regulations and guidelines that doesn't feel like they work for you maybe it's for you to stand up against that and actually follow what feels true for you now when the emperor turns up in a reading or when we pull this card it can be um, like a message to say stand in your own truth you know you don't need to follow everybody else that's doing this you know when everyone's doing the same thing so typically this is a card of power and authority and control uh, issues if there are any so you know it's asking you really to look at where do you stand in relation to how you might be perceived that you're being controlled 
uh, by others? Or are you somehow acting in such a way that it creates someone else to feel powerless? So have a look up where the emperor might be operating in your life and what you might need to do uh, to bring some more balance in because uh, we need this masculine energy in equal balance to the feminine energy when you think about a river a river in order to flow it needs to have like clear sides otherwise that river just meanders and spreads out it doesn't kind of kind of build up any momentum but when you've got strong clear sides on the river then that water can flow very easily and so the masculine allows the feminine energy to flow so where might you need some more structure in your life to bring more flow back to your life so yeah loads for loads of messages from the emperor so maybe part of that might resonate for you today um, if it does, let me know in the comments and I will see you back here next time. Bye for now.